on the lake. See some turtles again. Guess they want to get some organic chemistry lessons from Dr. Romano. I need some help myself on stereochemistry if I can find them out here. Hey, Dr. Romano, I need some help on stereochemistry. Come on around. I'll show you what I made up. In the first problem, I want to know is this molecule chiral or not chiral? A chiral molecule is going to have an enantiomer, and as such, it will be able to rotate the plane of polarized light. In example number one, this is not chiral. The key thing you want to do is to look for symmetry. And as you can see in example number one, the left path and the right path would be exactly the same. Um, this molecule would be symmetrical. Because it's got symmetry, it is not chiral. Here's a harder one, number two. Now, number two is not so easy to see for symmetry, but if you put a starting point, like a little dot right here, if you went to this position, you would get a C with an H on a tertiary position. If you went up, you would see a C with an H on a tertiary position. If you went one over, CH2, one over, CH2. So as you can see, those paths would be the same. So therefore, that disqualifies this molecule from chirality. This molecule is not chiral, because even though it's not so easy to see, it has a plane of symmetry. Okay, got it. Problem number three is a little bit harder. This is a hard problem, because this molecule is a spiroacetal group. Spiro wow. means that it's touching at one point. Now, as you can see, this carbon is connecting both rings. This carbon must be tetrahedral, and as such, the rings can't be in the same plane. This, these two rings are going to be what we call orthogonal, meaning that those rings are perpendicular to one, one another. So as you can see, what I've done here, this is a tricky problem. If you kept the left ring constant, as, you, as I've done here, and I made this ring going perpendicular to it, meaning this goes out and this goes in. That means it's no longer symmetry. There's no, long, no longer having symmetry, so that means it would have an enantiomer. And, and if you just drew it like this, you can draw the mirror image. So, okay. believe it or not, that molecule, that spiroacetal, is a chiral molecule. That's a hard one. Number four is easy. This is not chiral, because if you cut a line down the middle, you would get half chlorine is on this side, half of the fluorine is on this side, half the chlorine is on this, half the fluorine is on this. This has got a plane of symmetry. That's easy. Number five, here's another hard problem. Now, this molecule has a ring junction, which is cis. So, as you can see, if you drew a plane of symmetry across, that is easy to see, and that's not chiral. However, if the ring drunk junction was trans, as you can see, you would not be able to draw that plane of symmetry across the ring. So the trans ring junction would be chiral, and therefore this would have an enantiomer. When it's cis, it would not. Number six. If I drew it like this, now you got to be a little careful on a problem like this, because this molecule may or may not be, well, actually, I'm sorry, this molecule would be chiral. For the simple reason, there's no symmetry here. Um, if you drew it as the cis isomer, notice I could draw it like this. The cis isomer, meaning at the ring junction, the two H's are going up, or they're going down. There's no symmetry on this molecule. So this molecule is going to be chiral. The diastereomer of this, which the ring junction is trans, as you can see, would also be chiral. So this molecule would be chiral, and then so would enantiomer. So you, you, would, you would end up having the cis enantiomers and the trans enantiomers. And never forget, cis and trans are related by diastereomeric relationship. This was a hard one, so you had to look for symmetry. So on this clip, what you should have got out of it is being able to look at a molecule. If it has symmetry, it's automatically not chiral. All right, I hope this helps. We have some good questions in the Destroyer book. 
and you can look at my other video tapes on chorality. This is a sure bet DAT question. Probably for the dad, you'll get something more like this, something that's a little on the easy side. But if you can do the rest of these, these are challenging problems that they're going to really help. Okay, Dr. Romano, my friend Christian's taking the test tomorrow. He's going for a 30. I think he might get it. Well, a lot of the guys in my group this summer, we've done quite well.